Welcome to Medicated Housewife DIYs. In today's video, I attempted to create a sophisticated, elegant, and modern Easter gift basket using nothing but plastic Easter eggs, spray paint, and Dollar Tree nail polish. Did it work? <laughs> Not exactly. So let's jump right into this. The supplies we're using for today's project are a dozen jumbo plastic Easter eggs. I found these online at orientaltrading.com and they were really inexpensive. I also used some glossy white and glossy black um, spray paint and also metallic gold spray paint that I already had in the house. You'll need several bottles of nail polish from Dollar Tree. The colors I chose for this project were black, white, silver, and light gray. The plan for this project was to hydro dip the spray painted plastic eggs with the Dollar Tree nail polish so that they would look like faux marble eggs. And then filling the large eggs with tiny bottles of alcohol and having that as an, like an adult Easter egg gift basket. So I sprayed, I spray painted all of the eggs first. I used, um, I used the white and the black and the gold spray paint and I waited 24 hours for them to completely dry. The white and the black spray paint was made to cover plastic, but the metallic gold was just regular metallic spray paint. And unfortunately, all the eggs when they dried ended up looking just a little drippy, uneven, and basically pretty messy. Okay, so I've never attempted to hydro dip anything, but I have seen many tutorials for hydro dipping items in either spray paint or specifically using the Dollar Tree nail polish. I set everything up with a bucket for the water. I filled the bucket almost to the top with very warm but not hot water. And I shook my nail polishes. They were all ready to go. I also had a wooden skewer to move the nail polish around in the water. I even had a friend there to help me and to be an extra set of hands. So when you see three arms in the video, I did not grow a third arm. Um, there were two of us there. So I started to pour my nail polish. I'm not positive what I was thinking, but I figured using tiny drops of the polish was gonna be my best way to go. And then as soon as I stuck the skewer in the water, I realized that this was not going to go as planned. I started dipping with the um, gold eggs, mainly because I knew I didn't like the way they were looking to begin with and I probably wasn't going to end up using them. That first gold egg was so-so. Um, and I kept going to the second egg. And you can see that white nail polish forming a skin already and I keep going and all of the white just it sticks to the skewer as soon as I stick it in there it just it just sticks sticks all over it um I keep going and it's a good thing I wasn't counting on using these gold eggs because I, they just did not come out as planned now we set up for the white eggs I cleaned up the water a little and then I start pouring the nail polish in now same problem with the skewer and everything sticking to it. I dipped the first white egg in and it came out all right. You can barely see the nail polish color. Um, and the others, they took on way too much of the nail polish color, you'll see in a second. There was just none of the subtle gray, silver, or black veiny kind of marble look that I was hoping for. They actually, they look pretty stripey. Let me know in the comments if you're a veteran hydro dipper and you can spot where in this process um, I went wrong because something definitely went wrong here. The black eggs did not take the nail polish as well as the white eggs. As if it were possible, they looked even worse. The color that did stick to the black eggs was much thicker and blotchier than I was hoping for. It seemed like the white nail polish and the light gray nail polish both just clung to the black eggs in giant splotches. 
And all in all, the color and pattern results I got on all the eggs was nothing like the subtle colors and lines that I was really hoping to achieve. And this is how the eggs turned out. I picked out seven of the least offensive looking eggs to use in my gift basket. I had bought seven tiny airplane sized bottles of liquor and I filled each egg with tissue paper and one of the bottles. And I put the eggs into an Easter gift basket, which is the basket that I bought from the Dollar Tree and I spray painted it white. The project is an adult Easter gift basket that I made to take to a friend's house for the Easter holiday. So I thought that this would be fun and festive, and I'm just hoping that my friends will be able to see what my original vision for this Easter egg basket was. I don't wanna call this a total fail because I'm still giving this as a gift, but I would definitely label this project as not one of my best. Let me know if you've had any projects that did not turn out as you've envisioned. And again, any of you veteran nail polish hydro dipping experts out there, please, please comment below and let me know at what points I went wrong in this process. I hope you enjoyed this Medicated Housewife DIY. And if you'd like to see more DIYs, hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm the Medicated Housewife, and crafting is my medication.